All right, the uh, blower is mostly together now. And the motor's all wired up. I've wired it in 240 volt star. Even though it doesn't say it on the nameplate, I believe it can run in 240 star. I have had it running before off the VFD and it did work quite well, but with no load of course. So, now it's all together, well, apart from the outer housing, the front housing, let's just see what this thing can do. I'm not going to be uh, standing in line with the impeller when I do this. Let's go out here for now, I've got plenty of cable. Just press run. I'm only in 50 hertz mode. I'm not going to over speed it. It's at 6 hertz. A tiny bit of noise in that bearing. There's a new old stock bearing, so it might have got a little bit of crud in it, but it's a lot better than the old ones. I can tell you that much. It's 11.4 hertz. Twenty hertz. Thirty. Damn, that's just mental. 50 hertz, that is just insane. I'm not over revving it either. This is its normal operating speed. Get my cables undone. We'll have a look from the back. That's just crazy. And I have made sure everything's nut and bolted properly too. <laughs> you don't want that impeller coming off at close to 3000 RPM. That would just be catastrophic. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. <laughs> That's really impressive. For a motor that I pretty much wrote off as soon as I saw it. Just the way, the condition of the stator windings and everything in that is just in, incredible. Okay, the, the front, I think it's the front bearing that's a new old stock one. It's not 100%, but... Hey, this thing probably had bad bearings before it was thrown out. Let alone now. Oh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a complete video on the assembly process and a look inside the motor before I cleaned it up. Which I think I, sh I, think I showed it in a previous update video, but yeah, you get the idea. I did show it. It was in the update video and I was feeling a bit crook. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad, but it's come good. So let's finish assembling it and get it back together and run it properly. Thanks for watching.